Hello friends, welcome back. Today I am going to show you how to make mango tepache. Basically second fermentation of tepache with mango. Today I am going to use the pineapple skin and little bit flesh. While taking out the eyes, the little flesh come out with the eyes. I am going to use that also and the core. I am using all the skin of a pineapple. Little bit of cardamom, little bit cinnamon sticks and 50 grams of brown sugar you can use white sugar as well and then one liter water add all the skin in the jar you must sterilize the jar before you use and wash the skin properly before you add add all the ingredients sugar cinnamon sticks and cardamom and then add the filter water don't use the tap water because tap water might have chlorine or you can use boiled water wait for the water to cool down and then you can use i will put one kitchen towel like this and then i will cover the lid so that it will be not completely a child little bit co2 or o2 will come out and go in This is the second day you can see the water is still not very cloudy but there are lots of foams and bubbles inside. Everything is looking healthy there is no calm east on top. Every day I am stirring 2-3 to three times so that no kamis can build. I will cover with kitchen towel again. This is the third day and you can see the water is quite cloudy, not very transparent and the bubbles are still there. That means it's still fermenting. Just here, well, it will be fine. This is the fourth day, three days over, and today I am going to strain. You can keep longer, but I don't like when you keep longer, it will be very sour and there will be some yeasty smell so I'm going to strain now I'm going to keep it in the fridge now because I have ordered mangoes but it has not arrived yet. I have already consumed some tepache. Now I have around 700 ml tepache left. I'm going to use 50 ml mango puree and I'm going to mix with the tepache. this flip top bottle I am also going to use 15 grams sugar because I will be keeping one day outside and then two days inside the fridge so if you don't add sugar the drink will be very sour which I don't want so that's why I'm just adding little bit sugar Adding little bit of cinnamon stick also so that you still get the fresh cinnamon flavor and the aroma. Shake it well and then I am going to keep it outside in the room temperature for one day 
and then I'll be also keeping two days in the fridge. The excess one I'm going to use in this white mouth jar. The soda will be not that much if you use a white mouth but for me it's okay because I'm already using a flip top bottle. The purpose of doing second fermentation of Tepachi is to get carbonation and fizziness and if you put in a airtight bottle like flip top bottle it will be perfect. I will open them after three days. I kept the tepache one day in room temperature and two days in fridge. The mangoes have settled down and from outside you can't see any activities. Looking very quiet. Let's open and see what's happening inside. That's it. <laughs> this is not the first time. Sometimes I'm just absent minded and I don't take care while opening the bottle and things happen like that. This would be a lesson for you. Don't open the cap carelessly. You should hold the cap tightly and you should put in a big bowl and then you open the cap slowly, slowly so that it won't open like boom. In between you can also burp like every day you can burp one or two times to avoid this kind of situation. I kept one day only and in the fridge fermentation is very slow so I thought it should be okay. So this was my second fermentation of Tepache story and you can see what happened. So this was my mango Tepache, little sweet, little sour, little fizzy with very mild cinnamon flavor and aroma but I love the taste. Don't forget to comment below, give me a thumbs up, press the subscribe button if you haven't yet and I see you again with many other fermentation videos. Goodbye.